Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking through this topic, linear equations. And for this lesson, we're going to cover something on fractional linear equations in one unknown. So we'll do those equations in uh, one unknown, but the ones that have got some of their terms are written in a, a fractional manner. So we have some few uh, few questions to help us with illustrations of that, how you can uh, solve linear equations in one unknown, and especially those linear equations that are written in a fractional form. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some questions in the form of assignment, just to help you practice as you interact with the content. So, what we say is that now when you talk about fractional linear equations, we mean that now we'll be having linear equations, uh, but with some of their terms uh, written in a fractional manner, you know, from our definition of a fraction or from our previous discuss discussions on, fra on fractions, you know, a fraction is a number that is written in the form A over B, you know, the form A over b so you see like this one here see that is one of the terms in the equation that is written as a fraction so how do you solve such uh equations how do you solve for the unknowns in such equations so one what you do is maybe you can decide to multiply all through by the lcm example i have this one is over one this over one remember all whole numbers can be written as improper fractions with denominators of one so i'll multiply all through by the lcm of four one and one which is basically four so if you multiply x over four by four so that is x over four multiplied by four this four cancels that four and you have x only minus 2 by 4 is 8 and 4 by 4 is 16 and this is now what we we've uh, dealt with in our previous video on linear equations in one unknown when we were not having any of the terms written as a fraction so this definitely will cross to the other side and the sign will change so it is minus it will become plus so we have then x is equals to 16 plus 8. So x is equals to 24. So you have another one here. Uh, still applies, you can decide to multiply all through by 4. Or this, you can simply cross multiply. You know, we talked about this when we were dealing with ratios. Again, you can check out on our videos on that. So, cross multiplying this, when you have this one term each on both sides of the equation, then in math, you can just multiply this diagonal and this is equal to the other diagonal. Of course, you have to start with this diagonal here. We, it's normally more convenient that you start with the diagonal containing the variable. So that is 4 into. So that's 4 into P. P plus 5. So this is equals to 4 by, by 5. So if you open up this bracket again, you multiply the number outside the bracket by both terms inside the bracket. So 4 by p is 4p, 4 by 5 is 20, and the other side we have 20 as well. So what do we get now? 4p equals to 20 minus 20. This 20 taken to the other side becomes minus. So 4p is equals to 0. So you divide both sides by 4. Then this other side you divide it by 4. And what do you get? 
is equals to zero. And we are done with it. So even if you multiplied you multiplied all through by four, you will still end up with zero, you know. You'll still be, you know. Maybe if I did case two here or alternative two, where now you decide to multiply all through by four. So you know P plus five plus five over four. And then you multiply it by four. Still four cancels four, and you have p plus five. And five over four again you multiply by four. Four cancels four, and you have five. And still p will be equal to five minus five, which is zero. So either way, you still arrive at at zero. Now, again, here, you can multiply all through by the LCM, and our LCM in this case is uh, 24. The LCM of 2, 3, and 8 is 24. You, know? you, can, you can still try and calculate the LCM. So... Let me start with the LCM. So LCM of two, three, and eight. Two, three, and eight. So you start with two. Two goes into two ones. Three is not divisible by two, so just transfer. Two goes into eight four times. Two does not divide that. Two does not divide that. Two goes into four two times. Again, two does not divide that. Two does not divide that, but two goes into two ones. So this is ones, and then you have three. Three does not divide that. Three goes into three ones, and three does not divide that. So now our LCM here should be equal to two by two by two by three, four by two by three, eight by three, which is equal to twenty-four. So the LCM is twenty-four. So now you multiply all through by twenty-four. So now you have x plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 24. Minus x minus 2 over 3 multiplied by 24. This equals to 1 over 8 multiplied by 24. So we have again 2 goes here 1, 2 goes there 12. So that 12 multiplies. So the 12 multiplies x plus 1 minus the same thing applies on the other side. So you have 3 here, 1, 3 there, 8 times. And then 8 will multiply that bracket. So we have minus 8 into x minus 2. This is equal to the same thing applies to the last term. So 8 here, 1, 8 goes into 24 3 times. And so this is equals to 3. So again, you remove the brackets. 
The reason why we are introducing the brackets is because the 12 here is multiplying the whole of the numerator, which is an expression. So this is 12x. So the number outside the bracket multiplies both numbers inside the bracket. So 12x plus 12. Again, when there is a minus sign before the bracket, the sign inside the bracket changes. So 8x plus 16 is equals to 3. Collecting the like terms together. So we have 12x minus 8x plus 12 plus 16 should be equal to 3. So this is 4x plus 28 is equal to 3. So 4x is equal to 3 minus 28. So 4x is equal to negative 25. Remember now, a 28 is bigger, is greater compared to, to 3. So you subtract in the reverse direction three, 28 minus 3 to give us 25, but now minus. So you divide both sides by 4, by 4, and you'll have x is equal to negative 25 over 4, which is equal to negative 6 and 1 over 4. That's the value of x. So the same thing is done here. So again, we'll have to find the, the LCM, which in this case is 20. So the LCM is 20. So if you multiply the first term by 20, this will be 3y over 2 by 20 minus 14y minus 3 over 5 by 20 is equals to y minus 4 over 4 by 20. So the same thing that we did in the previous example. 2 here, 1, 2 there, 10 times. And uh, 10 by 3 is 30y. So minus. So 5 here, 1, 5 because there are 4 times. Four times. And 4 multiplies the whole bracket. So it's supposed to be 4 into 14y minus 3. This is equals to, again, 4 here once, 4 there 5 times. And 5 times the whole bracket. So this is uh, 5 into y minus 4. And so you remove the brackets. So 30y minus, this number outside the bracket multiplies all the numbers inside the bracket. And again, this negative sign before the bracket will change the sign inside the bracket. So this is 56y plus 12. So this is equals to 5y minus 20. So you collect the like terms together. So we have 30y minus 56y minus 5y is equals to negative 20 minus 12. So again, minus 30 minus 56, again, I will just subtract in the reverse first to give me negative 
26. Of course, it's 56 minus 30 is 26, but subtracting the reverse it becomes minus. So this is minus 5y is equals to negative 32. 20 plus 12 is 32 minus that 32 minuses. So this is going to be minus 31 y. Again, you just simply add the two. So this is going to be negative 32. So y is equals to 32 over 31. Or you simply just divide both sides by negative 31, negative 31, so that y is equals to 32 over 31. So 32 goes into 31, 31 goes into 32 once, because of 31 and the remainder is 1 over 30, 1 over 31. So finally, we have again this. You love to multiply by two, all three, all all through. But then you can take this to the other side first. So one minus y over two should be equal to two into y minus three over two. So this is over 1, but you can try and simplify it. These two cancels the other two straight away. So that you have 1 over 1 minus y over 2 should be equal to y minus 3. So you multiply all through by 2. Multiply all three by two, so this is going to be two y and then two into y minus three. So two minus y is equals to two y minus six. Remember two multiplies both terms out inside the brackets. So two by y and two by three. Collecting the like terms together. So I have minus y minus two y is equals to minus six minus two. This is positive 2, so if it goes to the other side, it becomes minus 2. This is minus y. The other 2y coming to the side becomes minus 1. So this is another negative 3y is equals to negative 8. So you divide both sides by negative 3, by negative 3. So y, negative 3 cancels negative 3, so that you have only y remaining on this side. And on the other side, we have now 8 over 3, which is equals to 2 because of 6. 3 goes into 8 two times because of 6, and the remainder is 2. So that is all. You have a few questions here to help you practice on what you've been learning. So you can turn, and then you can always post the feedback. Otherwise, that is all for now. Until next time, goodbye.